kindergarten families, my name is Holly Compton and I am the MBUSD math coach for grades TK to 6 and today I'm here to do a story problem and a, a little uh, number talk with your child and we're going to start first with this um, picture behind me. What do you notice? So I have one, two, three, four, five circles so the children might say, oh I noticed there are five circles and then some of them might say, oh I see there are two uh, stars in each circle. And then maybe some of them will even know how to count by twos, and they'll say two, four, six, eight, ten. Um, and then some of them finally might even say, well, I see there are five groups, and there are two groups in each, and there are ten stars. So you can kind of see this is an intro introduction to multiplication, which you might think we're crazy introducing that in first grade or kindergarten. They're almost first graders. But it's actually something that they can do because they see it everywhere in daily life. We just really kind of think about it as repeated addition when we're kindergartners and then we move into multiplication as we get older. So then after that, I am going to do this story with your children. So this is called jellyfish. There were, in this case, two jellyfish swimming in the ocean. Each jellyfish had three tentacles. How many tentacles do they have all together? So if we were doing this problem in third grade, a child might say two times three is six. But since we're in kindergarten, we'll probably draw these out. So two jellyfish, they will probably draw out two jellyfish, which is totally what I would expect to see. So it's a totally fine strategy. Let them draw pictures. So two jellyfish and then they may actually just do the three tentacles on each one, and then they might just count them. So they might say one, two, three, four, five, six, or they may even say three, four, five, six. So either way is fine. Um, however they do it is um, an absolutely wonderful way. Just let them go with their strategy, and we'll just kind of give them a gentle nudge to a more sophisticated strategy later on. Okay. Um, there are different color or different post-it notes on this chart. Um, so we have five and four. So your child might want to choose a different set of numbers. They increase in difficulty. So maybe they'll choose five and four, or maybe they'll even choose eight and six if they feel like they want to, but they should have a really good strategy and feel confident in how they are solving before they move on to the next two. All right, I think it's time to go get your kids. I'll see you back here in just a second. Hi kids, it's Mrs. Compton and I thought we could count before we do our story today. So I thought maybe we could count by fives. So if we were in class, we would always come up with a move to count. So sometimes we'd go five, ten, and we'd jump up for ten and then we'd do it again for fifteen. So let's see, I want everyone to think of a move that they like to do, but you have to stay in front of the computer so you can still count with me, so I can count with you. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna count by fives. Do you have your move ready? All right, here we go. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, what's next? Do you know what's next? 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. Good job, guys. We counted by fives to 100. Oh, man. I wonder if you were jumping. Are you tired and sweaty now if you were jumping all around? I would be. I always lost my breath in class when we did this. Okay. So, I wanted to ask you something that's hiding under here. Let's see what it is. Mmm, a picture. So I want you to look at this picture and I want to see all the things that you can notice. So just take a moment and really look. Mmm, okay. I have to take my guesses since you're not here with me. Okay, I have a guess that's 
some of you said there were five circles. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five. There are five circles. Hmm. Okay, I can take another guess. I'm going to guess some of you said there are two stars in each circle. Let me see. Could we count them by twos? We could try. Sometimes we don't always know how to count by twos yet, but we can practice. Are you ready? Let's try. Two, four, six, eight, ten. So there are ten stars inside. So we have five groups, and inside each group are two stars. So we counted two five times. Okay. Hmm. I wonder if anybody did anything else. I bet I know. I bet some people went one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Did anybody do that? I bet you did. Okay, you guys, are you ready to hear our story? I'm ready to tell it to you. So, our story is all about something in the ocean. Here it is. It's all about jellyfish. Oh my gosh. So, there were mm, jellyfish swimming in the ocean. Or sometimes they're just floating in the ocean. They're not even moving around, huh? So you can think about some jellyfish floating in the ocean. All right. Each jellyfish had mm, tentacles. All right, so all those little things that are coming off the jellyfish are called tentacles. All right, here's our big question. How many tentacles do they have all together? All right, shall we see our number sets and try this out? Let's, let's see. Okay, so our number sets are two and three, or you can choose five and four, or you can choose eight and six. Now remember, if you choose two and three, the two is in the first spot. It has to go on the first line. That will tell us how many jellyfish there are. If you choose this set, the three came second. So it has to go on the second line. Like that. Okay, let's read it again now with some numbers in our story. Here we go. Ready? Read it with me. Jellyfish. There were two jellyfish swimming in the ocean. Each jellyfish had three tentacles. How many tentacles do they have all together? Okay, everybody, I want you to imagine those two jellyfish floating in the ocean. Okay, can you see them? You gotta stay away from them. You don't want to get stung. Okay, now, each jellyfish has three tentacles in this story. Okay, so I want you to imagine the jellyfish and each one of them have three tentacles. Okay, kids, so we have to figure out how many tentacles there are all together. Now, it's your turn to go solve this problem, so I want you to check in with your teacher and see how she wants you to turn in this work to her. I'll talk to you next time.